There we are. Fish on. Fish on. We're on. We're on. We're on. We got one. We got one. Come on, net. Oh, yes. Yes, dude. First ever wild rainbow trout. What is up, guys? Welcome back to yet another video. Today is December 29th, 2020. Two years left in 2020, and I'm out here. Um, air temp right now is like 34 degrees. It's around 11.30, almost noon. Um, got here a little later than I wanted to, but I mean, it's traveling. I drove about an hour, 45 minutes to get here. And uh, yeah, here we are, it's pretty cold. You guys see, I got my winter jacket on, but it's actually here a month ago and it was a little bit colder. So I don't know what that's gonna do for the fishing. Um, talked to one guy as he was just leaving, a little fly fisherman, and he said he only had one bite or one fish. So um, yeah, bite might be tough today. I don't know, I'm just gonna get out there. I got four hours to fish. So hopefully I get more than one fish in four hours, but trout fishing has just been really hard for me this year. I've probably burnt, I don't know, maybe two, $300 in gas just chasing these fish all around a bunch of different streams in New Jersey, just trying to get on them. And I haven't had much luck. So this one's a little bit closer, hour 45 away from my house. Not the farthest stream I've fished this year, but uh, yeah, hopefully catch some fish. You guys saw last year, I didn't even catch any fish. So um, yeah, hopefully get on some fish. That winter flounder fishing yesterday. Got the skunk there too. So it's been a grind recently. Um, nothing I can do except just get out there and keep on fishing. So we're gonna get out there guys with the ultralight, just gonna be making some casts in these pools, just trekking through the woods, hiking a little bit. Despite not having the best success, trout fishing is always rewarding just because of the scenery out here. I mean, it's always gorgeous. Um, the little tiny pools and I see a lot of fish, but sometimes they just don't bite. So let's get out there guys, toss on the GoPro, toss on the waders to hike through these thorn bushes and whatever else the mother nature has waiting for us out there. But yeah, guys, I'm stoked to get out there. Let's catch some fish. See you guys out there. Hopefully it's a good video, stay tuned. Let's catch some little trout and uh, see what happens. All right, here we are. Made it to the stream. Now we just gotta walk down here. So I'm gonna ignore any of these small, slow moving parts because in past trips, I've never had any luck at all on them, really. Even though they sometimes look good, the fish can see you from pretty far away. Well, there is a nice little pool right up here that we're gonna hit. Here's the first small little pool. Just gotta be very, very stealthy with these guys. Combat fishing, really. Just getting on your hands and knees. Trying to get right in that exact honey hole where you wanna be. It's a very finesse game. When you catch a fish, it really does pay off. Oh! I think we just have one, guys. I think we might have just had a fish. Dang it. All right, well, no fish in the first pool, but that's to be expected. When you're fishing like this, remember our goal is only to land one or two fish out here, just really not to get skunked. I mean, we're gonna probably fish at least a dozen or more pools today. It might take a while to catch our first fish, but we'll still keep hitting up all these little pools down here. Hopefully catch a fish somewhere. And uh, yeah, who knows when that'll be, but it doesn't hurt to stop at every pool and make some casts. You never know where that one fish will be hiding. guys quick lure change right here switched it up to a small little marabou jig just snapped off the little soft plastic and jig head i had on there wasn't feeling too confident with that anyway just didn't look as finesse as i wanted it to but yeah this little marabou jig right here it's black with a small yellow chartreuse highlight so i'm hoping that'll kind of turn the fish on a little bit better um similar to a fly it's basically a fl the spinning equivalent of a fly and just gonna cast that in there 
and kind of fish. It looks like any little type of bug or something. Here's the first little small pool we found in a little while. Just kind of walked up a little bit and found this. So any hard edge right here is where I'm trying to fish, where you kind of see these trees overhanging. It means there's a dark, I mean, a deep, deep current right underneath these guys. I just got hung up on the same branch I did earlier, but this time I'm not gonna lose it. But yeah, I fished this pretty hard with that little soft plastic, and I got it hooked up on a branch, and obviously don't have any more luck after that. But we're just gonna try to fish this in here, and other similar little cutouts and whatnot. I'll probably switch up lures again. Really trying to stay away from a spinner, just because of how small this water is. Spinners aren't gonna do too well, just because a lot of snags and not a lot of deep, deep water. You kind of try to fish as much vertical as you can. Let's hop on the other side over here. And yeah, just keep on walking up. I mean, I'm sure there's a fish somewhere in here, but after all that little commotion, I'm not, not confident that he's gonna bite much more. So let's keep on walking up. There's gotta be some fish somewhere out here. Well, there goes that jig. Might have a few more in my bag, but it might have spooked those fish too with that commotion out there. Oh man, not off to a good start. All right guys, just switched up to a small little marabou jig. A little black one. Chartreuse one didn't meet a uh, positive fate. Had one bite on it though, which is a good sign. This guy's even smaller, a little bit more finesse. Oh my God, come on. Hopefully these fish aren't too spooked after that last little, uh, chaotic mishap. Oh, there we go, fish on, fish on, got him. Not a trout, not a trout though. Still get the net, still get the net though. There we are, a little creek chub it looks like. Not our target species, but still a fish. All right, there we go guys. First fish of the day, little tiny creek chub right there. I believe that's what that is. Don't catch these guys too much in my neck of the woods, but there we are, first fish of the day, let's send it back. So there he goes. All right guys, first fish of the day. I'm trying to keep my voice down a little bit because there could still be some more fish in there. So that was first cast of the black marabou jig. The creek chub is bite, hopefully the trout will as well. So I'm gonna cast back in there, and see what else we can pull out of that little hole. All right, and there we go guys. So let's get back out there, black marabou jig. First cast, dude, first cast. Ultra, oh my God, I keep forgetting there's a tree right behind me. Ultra finesse fishing right here. So those fish are in fact creek chubs though. They are not trout, unfortunately for me. Oh, somebody's had another one too. So they're, they're all over this right here. Um, yeah, not any, not any trout in this hole though. Unfortunately, unfortunately. So we'll make a few more casts, see if we can pull up a lucky one. But it doesn't look like there's any trout in here, but first fish the day off the board, that is not bad at all. At least I have something to show the camera for you guys. See if we can uh, bring anything else up on the bank. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, yes, yes, dude. Oh my God. No, no, he fell off. Oh my God, dude. Oh, dang it. Wild rainbow trout, dude, 110%. Just saw him and everything. Oh, oh my God, man. Knew this was gonna be a good spot. Dang it, man. My first ever wild rainbow trout just popped off. Now I'm snagged up. Dang it, dude. Just popped off, dude. I had him and everything. I even saw his colors. Gorgeous fish, dude. Now we're hooked up on, oh my God, man. Cannot get more disappointed than this. So, so far, I didn't even show you guys the last one. I had probably looked like a brown trout. So I've had, I've seen one trout the first spot where I caught that creek chub, saw a monster brown trout just lurking in the depths when I got snagged. Second time, I saw, I had a brown trout follow me in, hit my lure lightly, and then I was thinking to myself, well, I've seen one, I've had one follow. Next thing that's gonna happen is gonna get bit and I'm not gonna land it. So 
that just happened first ever wild rainbow trout oh major bummer but now only the option left is to land one of these trouts so here's a small little pool right here pools are only going to get better the farther i go up because now we're really getting into the mountains and we're really going to start dealing with some elevation we just walked about a mile and a half right now it's been about an hour so far that we've been fishing still haven't landed any trout definitely getting closer so yeah we'll keep on fishing guys and i'll see you next time something interesting happens There we are, fish on, fish on. We're on, we're on, we're on, we got one, we got one. Come on, net. Come on, net, do your job, do your job. Oh, it's a rainbow, it's a rainbow. Come on, buddy, come on. Get in the net, get in the net. Oh, yes. Yes, dude. First ever wild rainbow trout. Not even heavy enough to straighten this net out. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that's the best feeling in the world, man. The absolute best feeling in the world. Sweet, dude. Let our hands real quick, guys. Oh, there we go, guys. My first ever wild New Jersey rainbow trout. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish, dude. Awesome colors on this guy. Absolutely slam that woolly bugger or marabou jig right there. But again, just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. So stoked I was able to land this, guys. Let's give her a quick release and then we'll get back to fishing. Could not be more happy right now. Um, yeah, told you it was gonna happen. Fourth cast, that's awesome, dude. He's in the water right now, so let's send him back. But yeah, absolutely awesome, dude. Here we go, guys. Let's send them back. Awesome, guys. Quick release. Super stoked to catch that fish, man. Oh, awesome, dude. First ever wild New Jersey rainbow trout. Major bucket list species right there. Could not be more stoked, dude. Let's get back on the prowl, back on the hunt, man. Still plenty more streams. And that got hit in a very, very small pool, which is really encouraging because there's not a lot of real big pools up ahead. So any small pool like this will definitely hit multiple times. And that woolly bugger really made the difference, man. I mean, last night I was here, I was throwing spinners and soft plastics. They weren't having it. But that woolly bugger, dude, really, really coming in clutch. Also, just to mention, guys, this water is freezing. That underwater release right there. Boy, are my hands cold right now. I'll tell you that much. Let's see what we can do, guys. Absolutely stoked. That was our goal, man. Land one fish. And we still got plenty more time. So let's keep making some more casts. Hopefully catch some more fish. And we'll see what we can really pull out of these New Jersey streams. Well, guys, we are quickly arriving on my most favorite plunge pool of this entire little stream right here. It's actually where I ended up fishing last time before I turned around. You can see there's a big old pool right ahead of me, right after this little waterfall, and I'm praying I can get them some good fish in here. So we're gonna try to wait up, be as incognito as possible. There are definitely fish in here, but these are probably the most pressured fish out of this entire water body. So we have to be very careful to not spook any and hopefully we catch some. Well guys, much to my surprise, we actually had no bites in this entire pool right here. I just got done finishing up this little plunge portion. But like I've said, this is probably the most pressured pool out of the entire stream just because of its 
proximity to the trail as well as the fact that, I mean, just look how gorgeous this looks right here. Everyone that passes by this probably makes a cast. So you can imagine after hundreds or thousands of casts and different lures thrown into this pool right here, these fish aren't gonna be all too uh, happy to just jump on whatever falls in the little pool. So we'll keep on moving up out of here. Um, there still should be some more unfished portions up here that I haven't even explored yet. So now we're on our new frontier, but I mean, just look how gorgeous this is. This is, like I said, probably why I love trout fishing the most, just because of how awesome the scenery really is. And you never know what you're gonna find. So it looks like we do have some more pools up here. I don't really see this thing ending anytime soon. See, so yeah, I'll keep moving up, try to find Another nice pool and hopefully land whatever. All right, so we are retied guys. Got a little Maribu jig back on here. And let's make some casts. I mean, this looks so good. I cannot believe I didn't get any whites on the spinner. Again, maybe this is one of those pressured spots here in this little public area, but you would really think this it should have the potential for some serious, serious fish. Oh, there we are, fish on. What was I just saying? Oh, it's a creek chub. Quick little creek chub, man. Not what I wanted. But hey, it's still a fish. Take what I can get out here. Let's send him back real quick. Quick little release on that guy. Like I said, I knew there was fish in here. Surprisingly, the creek shove didn't hit on the spinner earlier. So we'll cast this guy back out there. See what else we can do. Maribu jigs for the win today, man. All right, well guys, nothing in here. So surprised, except for that creek chub. Really thought I would be putting a freaking hammer on some trail in here. This is by far the best pool I've seen all day and on this entire stream. So I'll definitely have to come back here and hit this place up. But hey, I can't complain. Caught some fish and they still not over. It's only 2.30. I thought it was closer to four o'clock. Actually two hours before sunset. So we're gonna just keep on walking back. Definitely gonna stop at some pools I hit earlier. And yeah, let's uh, just get on out of here. All right, well guys, you can obviously see we are back in the car now. Um, it's 3.30, so it took us about an hour to walk back. We were pretty far away from where I parked. But honestly, today was a good day. We caught two creek chubs, one wild rainbow trout, my first ever, and we had one of the rainbow one, and we had, I think, was a brown that followed us in. So yeah, a pretty good day, honestly. My second time ever here, maybe my last time here, just because of how hard the fishing was. Talked to some other fly fishermen, and they said they got nothing. So for me, which was probably like one-on-one -on -one with fish caught, fish hooked, whatever. I, I mean, I had some action. For them to have nothing was pretty surprising to me, especially with fly guys normally do better than us spin fishermen. But uh, yeah, guys, overall, it was a good video. I mean, good. <laughs> was well, a good day. I'm super tired right now. Pretty exhausted from hiking a lot, but it's a great day. I'm going to bump some Travis Scott as I go home. Kind of just sit back and chill. So yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in this video as always. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. If you guys could like and subscribe the video it means a lot. And if you really want to, you can support me on Patreon, obviously all, all optional, but um, yeah, it makes the channel go farther. And yeah, guys, so this might be my last fishing trip for 2020 or as you guys see this in 2021. But uh, yeah, did pretty good, had a good day, and time for me to go home, get some sleep. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Stay tuned, stay stoked. Peace out.